Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Prime Train vlog this week. I am on my way out of Melbourne City, on my way to Darwin City. I parked in the value car park. I'm here like an hour and a half early. I'm a new man. I've decided to change my ways and I'm going to be early to everything from now on. But yes, we are on our way up to Darwin um, and I'm very, very excited. Let's go. Just got a text from our warehouse where we store all of our subs and products. And um, the warehouse was burnt down last night, 10 p.m. So it was an external fire. Um, so I've lost all of our subs products, all our merch. All the merch that we're going to run in a couple of weeks, and none of it's insured. Oh shit! Mm. Yeah, last good and just broke up with my girlfriend yesterday as well, so yeah, just tick, tick, tick. Show goes on, I guess. Press on the exhaust, we be scared now. No, we not the same, what you talking about? Got me all up in your mentions, must have heard around. How that sound, yeah, that sound good, tell them break it down. Uber secured, now we are on our way to the hotel. Easy. Let's go. 60 bucks Uber, jeez. Steep here in Darwin. Ah, just off to Darwin Hotel, please. We back, baby. Let's go. God damn it, my pasta, no, my salad has gone all through my bag. This is not what we wanted. Now it's gone onto my bed. Oh, yuck, it's all through my bag. Yuck, dude. No. <laughs> Put the Warriors on tonight. Worry. Mm. Mm. Free game, babe. Just what we're looking at. The health king. Tommy Tux. Yep. Lasagna. Lasagna. Chips, bread. <laughs> Just garlic bread for babies. <laughs> I can assure you that's cheese. Cut it. It's called Boccantini. Cut it. <laughs> Boiled eggs. <laughs> They're not <laughs> eggs. Boiled eggs. They're not eggs. Watch, look here, ready? Look. It's cheese. The yolk. The yolk in there. <laughs> what are we doing? Look at this here. Thank you, bro. Yum. All right, me and Sterlo have gone with a beautiful little cold rock. Mine's already melting, dude. All right, that is pretty much a wrap for the day. It is a Friday night. We are checking out 8.35. 
and we're about to go to sleep. It's been a crazy day, like I said before. We've had some issues for the day, which have definitely affected my mental capacity to deal with the day. Turns out that some of the issues weren't as bad as what we initially thought, but they're still pretty bad. So we're just gonna work through them. Uh, but for now, all I'll focus on is footy and tomorrow, and I'm gonna go to sleep and then wake up tomorrow refreshed and feeling bliss. Good night. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is 8.30, so I've been up for a little while, but uh, I am feeling super refreshed. I went to bed at about 10. Uh, and I wanted to get as much sleep as I possibly could. Now let's check out the Whoop Band statistics because that will tell you how I'm actually feeling. We've got 98% recovery on the Whoop Band at the moment. So that's this thing that I wear, um, which is amazing. That means that um, my heart rate variability is 27% higher than my recent average. So my body is primed to take on strain today. That's what I've said. I've gone uh, with a 96% sleep performance. I slept for eight hours and 30 minutes, which is amazing. So uh, I feel good. You sleep sufficiently, but your recent bed and wake times could be more consistent. That is fair enough. I think I've been pretty consistent with my wake times, but today I was a little bit later because I wanted to get that little bit of extra sleep. But yeah, good morning everybody. Sorry I'm talking for so long. Uh, we're gonna go out and do a few things this morning, have some breakfast, go for a swim, just do what we do, um, yeah. So even though my body does feel great, I do feel pretty good, I feel quite refreshed. Um, the mind is still not amazing. Um, like I said, dealing with this thing with the supplements, um, we're dealing with, um, I guess a little bit of a recent breakup as well. Did go on the phone last night with her and talk through a few things. So we'll see where that goes. Um, but I guess, you know, there's a lot of things going on in my life right now. And I think I, I just have to chill out, relax about it and just think about the footy. So that is what I'm going to do. And hopefully we uh, can get some chocolates today. That's the goal. But. Let's go and attack the day. Crazy. Crazy. Woo. Best thing about GoPro? Take this chance. What are they? Waterproof, eh? Nah, hopefully. <laughs> hope they are. I woke up at like 6 and then went back to sleep. Welcome back to the Prime Train back Vlogs. Prime Here we go, vlog. baby. Shit rig. Look at these fish. Morning swimming with the fishes. See if I can find any more. They were all around me just before. Got the fishes. 9.32, time for some breakfast. We'll see if it works, we'll see if it's okay. They're cleaning it already. <laughs> to quickly check out of the hotel. I've got a shower butt first, so I'm not letting them into my... <coughs> Gee whiz, bless me. Put on Sky Racing or what? Oh yes, NBA. Mate, I'm drinking water like it's going out of fashion. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Yeah, have you played have you played muscle with him with him? No, he wasn't It's meant to go on the inside of your car. I'm sure if they're doing that fix your car. Oh fix that. Now why are you doing that? You weird. You got me? 
I'm about to go crazy on this. I reckon I'm due for a win here. I'm due for a win. Hey boys, welcome uh, to Prime Train Vlog. Uh, if we just have a look here at the scores. Oh no! Pickles is one! The underdog story. Oh no! What the? What was you know that? What, you know what the big story out of the thing is? Prime last. I am not good at bowling. It's official. Not good. It's two o'clock and it is pouring with rain. Probably gonna be raining all afternoon, so it might be a wet game. All these guys are gonna get subway, not this guy. I got that milk prep, baby. What are you getting, Hasman? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got to say hello. That's it. Gonna get water. Demolish. Come on. Tell him break it down. I saw Wendy's in your town. Don't forget the dollar sign. How to sound, get a sound good. Tell him get in line. Hold it down, hold it down. Came up from the underground. How to sound, get a sound good. Sounds good. How to sound, get a sound good. Sounds good. How to sound, get a sound good. Sounds good. How to sound good. Hi, brother. Look here. How's it gonna taste, Hasman? Oh yeah. Yeah. Do you want to have a sip of that? Just put Yum. It tastes like cordial. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another game day vlog. We are playing the Pint Green Out today, who we have previously played in another game day vlog. Now, we actually had a really delayed start. We started 30 minutes late because we had lightning issues before the game. And as you can see, it's a shocking day. It is wet and pretty gross, to be honest. But we are working through the Pint and Green Outs start really, really well. Get off to a good start. I get back here. I'm actually starting on the half forward flank, but I'm working right back to the goal square because they are starting really well. I'm just trying to, I guess, help out our defense a little bit um, here and there. But look, the green out started really, really well. Caught us off guard, and I think that that was <laughs> not the start that we wanted. We obviously were very frustrated with how we went back starting um, on the wing in this second quarter we luckily get a good start here back-to-back -back goals from holtz Fitz and then coco nikki goes bang around the corner with a lovely snap sterler takes a good grab here and straight away goes and hits stafford on the lead so we actually start to play some really really good footy here in the second quarter i think that this was the scoring end uh and the the game just starts to come back at us. These guys are genuinely just trying to hit me after I get the ball. I get a nice one-two here, and even though it's wet, I still try to bounce. Get the ball up to our first game. He's only 16. He does a good pickup, and he could have given it back, but unfortunately, um, just goes around the wrong way. So, look, to be honest, it hasn't been a very good first half uh, from all of us, but we're still right in it. Stafford goes around the corner. Holtz fits somehow. <laughs> it's a goal there. I don't know what, how he's managed to get to that, but that's a fantastic goal. And we're just trying to fight for the ball, and it's super, super slippery here um, underfoot. It's not very nice uh, where the ball is. A lot of the time, get picked up, and it was thrown out of the way. He was trying to get a free kick, but didn't do very well. Anyway, the ball just seems to be slipping and sliding everywhere. A uh, few clearances here and there, but I actually... I don't just don't think my head was in the game. I've had such a massive weekend and I like in terms of emotionally and it's crazy how much that can start to play on your mind with everything that's going. The ball almost misses my bloody foot here. Like I'm just yeah, struggling a lot. Get a handball out here, but again, look, there's just not a lot going on. So I guess sometimes when you are having a little bit of those one 
uh, like that kind of weekend. You just have to block it off a little bit and try and reset your your mind. I just didn't. I don't think I did. And I get a good one too here every time I'm getting it. I'm trying to advance it up the field as much as I can. Luckily, the ball actually hits my foot here. But bloody hell. Again, just trying to uh, pressure and tackle. I get a chance here to get it. And I'm trying to mark it on my chest. Guys, if the ball is coming to you, don't try and mark it on your chest. Try and get it in your hands. Get your hands out. I just keep making the mistake of trying to mark it on my chest. And it's really not good enough. And I'm, you can see I'm pretty frustrated with myself and how I'm going. It's okay. We push on. We keep on working through. We go out in the last quarter. We're down by a little bit. And we're hoping we can come back. I go forward for the last quarter. As you can see, I'm very frustrated here because we're just not getting the ball again. Try to grab it in on the chest. Get your hands out, mate. What the hell are you doing? I'm frustrated with myself even watching it. Again, it's three on one. Like, we're just... No, not really any, um, you know, again, it's just like to their advantage, to their advantage, and we're just like out of position. Tackle here, could have been holding the ball. Holtfitz gets a high tackle, which is good. Happy with the man. Again, I drop the mark. Like, even when I am marking on my chest, I still drop the mark, get a handball out, but they're just harder at the ball. They were harder at the ball the whole game. So he gets it here, has a shot from 50 on goal. Uh, I'm luckily there to take the grab and... Do something for the game. I get a goal out of it, but gee whiz, I did not have a lot of impact on the game. I've got, like, I get enough of it. Like, I'm getting of it a little bit again, just, like, not really attacking the ball. And then just so I try to bump someone, and they all get into me. So, fair enough, probably. Probably didn't need to bump me, but I know what I'm going to do next game. I know that I'm going to be a lot more physical. It's a good tackle here, but, again, just... Not enough, to be honest. And the ball comes to me here. I'm on the lead. I'm trying to mark on my hand. Try to mark on my chest. Why do I keep trying to mark on my chest? Get your hands out. Literally, best advice I can give you guys. It doesn't matter if you drop the ball. Just try and get it in your hands, um, because then they don't get a chance to mark it. At least you're giving yourself a chance. Stafford finishes the game with a goal here, and uh, that's it. No good. <sighs> All right, it is 7 a.m. In the morning, I am walking back to my car. Let's just recap a few things. Um, first off, thank you for watching the vlogs. Sorry, this has been such a terrible one. Um, it's just been a massive weekend of L's for me, to be honest. Um, warehouse burnt down. It wasn't as terrible as we initially expected. We still will have some products left over. So we can send them out, which is really, really good and I'm very lucky. But still, it was pretty devastating to have that happen to us and lose some things. Secondly, uh, the, the breakup, um, which obviously plays in your mind a little bit during the weekends, um, that is going in a weird direction um, I don't know I think we're gonna see them today for a coffee so see what happens there but still interesting how things play out um, and then obviously the footy loss and not playing too flash as well it's not very good but that's all right we will continue to work hard throughout the week and hopefully be back next weekend and get a win. But yeah, sorry if it's a bit of a depressing vlog for all you guys. You might want to sit down on a Monday or a Tuesday night and watch something that was entertaining and uplifting, but this is the reality of my vlogs. You're going to go through all the highs and all the lows with me and that is just the way that it goes. And it's a good... Reminder that not everybody's life is fantastic all the time, so I'll be super transparent with you. It's been a terrible weekend, and I've hated a lot of it. And a lot of the time, there's other things going on in people's lives that might affect their sporting performance. So it's always good to remember that as well. But 
I know for myself, I'm just gonna get back on the horse this week, work really, really hard, and I wanna be up next week to redeem myself. That is gonna be the end of a rather um, sad vlog. But like I said, we continue to push on and thank you for your support watching these and enjoying these and following the ups and downs. That is all. I love you guys. See you next time. Stay sexy.